Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here, and welcome to another FIFA 13 player review, and today we're looking at Jermaine Beckford. So let's look at his stats on his card, he's 72 rated and he's a striker, he's got 89 pace, 65 shooting, 53 passing, 64 dribbling, 46 defending and 70 heading, and his key stats are his 88 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, uh, 71 finishing, 79 stamina, 71 heading, 72 shot power, 72 strength and 74 positioning and he's got a 5 star weak foot which he's actually quite well known for um, he's got his 3 star skill moves and his price on the PS3 is 4,805 coins this is his average price obviously um, Xbox is 5 thousand and twenty four coins and on the PC it's seven thousand four hundred and seventy two so let's get on to some gameplay now so as you can see I've got quite a few it's quite long this video and that's probably because I want to talk quite in depth about Beckford um, he's got quite a, he's got loads and loads of plus points but also he seems to be one of those players who has really really good strong suits but all the areas he's not good in he seems to really lack in and fall behind all the other players of his kind of like style and that's what I, what I want to talk about today now some of you guys probably won't agree with some of the um, things I say about him and like all his traits and things but this is the way he felt with me first of all he has quite good finishing as you see from these um, video and um, these like clips he mainly scores goals from inside the box um, it's normally near post shots I know near post OP and stuff like that but he is really quite good in those areas and he is really clinical as well in those areas so that makes him a really good clinical finisher inside the box and what does help him with that clinical finishing is his 5 star weak foot now 5 star weak foot is something which you don't see in many players I mean it's probably a bit more common than 5 star skill moves but 5 star weak foot is still very very useful it's even useful if you don't use skills because a skill moves it's very like set to a certain group of players a super, certain group of players you like to use skills and all things like that but with weak foot it helps everything it helps shooting and passing and things like that so that really does help so I thought it was a really good thing which helped his good finishing um, now one thing he is really good at as obviously you can see off his card 89 pace 88 acceleration 89 sprint speed sprint speed that makes him a really good speedster and he's really really good at that and obviously he's gonna make them really good runs and also because of his, he has got really quite good position as you saw there, 74 positioning and 71 heading. When he does get in that box, he normally finds some space, and especially if you're playing him silver cup, he's going to get into positions and things like that where he can actually beat those silver um, centre backs or even bronze centre backs in some cases, um, and get those nice headed goals. And I think I score quite a few. Also, his penalties, his penalties are alright. His penalties, I'm not going to put it down as a plus or a minus, but um, you'll see quite a few penalty goals. He was the best penalty taker in my entire squad, so that's why he's taking the penalties and that's why he scored so many. But it's probably down to player um, more than the... It's probably down to the person who's using him rather than the player himself in the game because um, penalties is all about your ability to get into the right area of the like net and know how to take penalties it's all about experience and you don't really need a player with top um, penalties to be able to put them goals away now some of the bad things about him is he's got a trait which is called selfishness or selfish or something and is he's got really bad passing because of it and also his vision is really bad so he can't see those passes and those are some quite bad things if you um, want to play like a passing game if you can't break past like some really fast defenders and you want to use the passing game to your advantage that's going to be quite bad with this guy and also if you do want to play that break football and exciting football as some people call it he has only got a medium attacking work rate which sees him just stand on the halfway line sometimes and it can be really frustrating and especially because he's got really good positioning if he had high attacking work rate he'd definitely be up there with maybe a nine rating but he has got bad dribbling bad balance and all of those minuses do add up he has got some good quite good pluses but those minuses do add up and the overall rating I've given him, I know some of you guys aren't going to like this, but I've given him 7.5, the same as Gomez. Now that is because of his finish, it is, now let's talk about pluses first, we'll just talk about his pluses. He has got good finishing, his weak foot's amazing too. Uh, he's got brilliant heading, heading and good positioning, which do help each other, and something which helps all those stats together is his speed. But 
those are kind of like cut out by his bad balance and dribbling because without them if someone does try and tackle you you are going to be pushed off the ball and balance is going to be falling over all over the place he does have 72 strength but sometimes when a player's got really good strength their dribbling is affected and um, so you can see it's quite clunky so his strength is alright but still defenders are going to be tackling him really easily and if you want a guy with good strength you also need to look at his balance too because he might be able to win the ball back but he won't be able to keep it because with strength you can barge into players but with balance he's going to fall on the floor because if you haven't got any balance you're going to be flat on his face every time someone touches him and also because of his good sp um, because he's good at positioning things it really lets him down that his medium attacking work rate is there because if he did have a t high attacking work rate as I've just said he wouldn't um, he can't like get into the box without medium attacking work rate and also you can't really use him to get round on the wing either because he's got bad passing and bad vision so he can't spot those key passes so that's my opinion of Jermaine in Beckford it probably goes against quite a few people's opinions I did enjoy playing with him but not as much as Delfonso so, and any other player I'd used in that squad really he was probably one of the weaker links even though it upsets me to say he was quite a li weak link um, it's got to be said, I've got to be honest, but that's how I felt about it. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.